And that is, ladies and gentlemen, how you start off an episode. That is how you do it. You just turn in some quests and you get a shit ton of new quests. Okay? Okay? Welcome back to another episode. My name is King's Reaper. And this episode will be running some weird quests for some weird people. So first off, we're going to be doing the quest with dehydration or being in pain and killing scavs. So enjoy this quick clip. So yeah, we've done it. Oh man, he wants some more shit done. This dude is unbelievable. And the quests get more and more insane for that guy. Now he wants us to kill PMCs while being, while having tremors and you need to kill them with headshot and stuff. Okay, okay, take it easy boy. Take it easy, we'll do that. Okay, okay, no stress. We are gonna do that, eventually, you know. Well, first, we're gonna try it with, with a SKS, because that's the way you do it. You know? Just quick few headshots while having tremors, being in pain. So, the first raid, where do we go? On to customs, the new customs with expansion. And after going through the expansion part, we went to the industrial area. Only to find some unaware opponents. Okay. My dude, where are you going? What are you doing? Don't kill yourself on fence. I need to kill you, okay? Well, he's dead. Not the way he's supposed to be dead, but that's fine. Okay, we managed to kill this guy. So I needed... I spent quite few bullets, more than I was supposed to, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's see what he had. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty much all the crap in the world you could get. Ooh. Ooh, not bad. Not that. Ooh, not bad at all. He had actually some decent gear. Okay, so we'll just scoop it off and start pushing towards the extract, right? Hello, motherfucker. And this is what happens when you forget that there's a sniper scab. A few moments later. That's what happens when you can't get the audio cue and realize that the scav is actually on the rooftop, you know? So, I pretty much died unaware of who killed me. But that didn't discourage me, no, no, no. We went in again with another scav run, trying to make some money, and look, oh look, somebody killed that same bastard who just shot me previous game. And you know what? I'm just gonna take all of his gear just to get back at him, you know? Because he's a bastard. 
After looting him, I started pushing towards the extract and heard some gunshots pretty much coming in this area. Bye, dude. So after camping this dude out, I quickly scooped all his gear, everything that he had, and pushed for the extract. Now, let's be clear, that's not an extract camping if you hear somebody approaching you, okay? It's not extract camping. But anyways, we got that gear, and I decided, let's go once again try to do that quest, killing people while having tremors, which is pretty much pain in the ass. Getting those tremors, yeah, you're either gonna be dehydrated or you have to break a leg or something. So, I went into this quest, again, using Devil Dog Mayo, trying to find people while being dehydrated and while having tremors. And nonetheless, as I started approaching this area, there was the dude pushing as well. He obviously saw me, because he wasn't pushing anymore, so, eat an aid. But there was another guy there. So I flank all the way around, trying to find this guy, looking for him, flanking even further down the road to see where he is, what he's doing, why can I find him? Are they together? Are they not? Was that his friend? Was that entirely different player? I don't know. This guy was killed by me while having tremors, which was good. So, since I couldn't find the other guy, I thought, okay, he's gone, you know. I just picked up everything that this guy had, went through his shit, and just as I thought, I'm good. Yeah. I was very good, you know. You just get one tapped in the face, no hell in the world could you know where from, or how, or... Eh, you, you know what, we just get one tapped in the head, that's it, that's all we need to know, that's fine. We went immediately into another raid, and this one was also gonna be so much fun. So once again, customs, we spawned at the old gas station and start pushing into the new area, new zone. I was having tremors, I was ready to do, deal with this quest, and this time I went with a method of breaking legs. But hold on, our quest was not done. Why? It was not a headshot, that's why. So I went back to camping on the shore, and soon enough there was a guy approaching me. So after missing those two headshots, I wait him out just a tad longer. Missed again. Uh, at this point I was getting very pissed, very frustrated because I needed just one more headshot while having tremors and it would be all done. But this guy, he was somewhere in the bushes, waiting, preparing his rat attack. So I had to look for him. Uh, there we go. There we go. One tap, headshot, quest done. Perfect. I had to fix up my leg since it was completely broken, heal up, see what this guy had, and pretty much just extract. Oh man, I was hoping for good gear. And boy, I was not mistaken, this guy had some really good stuff. So, I scooped all his gear, everything, and pretty much went straight for the extra, because I didn't want to spend another minute with this quest. So, after success, su successful uh, extraction, I finally went to turn in the quest with Jaeger in hopes that he would give me yet another shitty quest like this, you know, because why not, let's kill 50 people with only one hand. Mmm, lovely. Ooh, perfect, the CMS kits, that's not a problem, but the defib, you know what, 
we're gonna produce that defibrillator in our hideout because now you can do that what the hell is this quest okay well nonetheless it was time to go again into the woods looking for those calves trying to kill them while having stims on me you know that's an easy task kill 20 scavs while being under the influence of stimulants eh no problem we can do that easy cheesy so we spawned far 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 on the map and i started pushing all the way towards the sawmill and first thing i found just as i arrived here was another player Well, you need to be patient. You need to be patient with those shots. When you're playing like a sniper, you need to be patient. There we go. Two shots, he's dead. Perfect. So after killing him and looting his body, I did find a couple of more scavs on the sawmill. I had to kill him with headshots without while I'm not wearing armor. Oh no, sorry, this was actually the other quest. This is the quest where you need to kill four scavs without using any meds. So after I killed that guy and two more scavs, I went back looking for some more scavs. So we had three out of four scavs. I just needed one more. There we go. Quest done. That's all we came here to do. Perfect. After that, I just went for the extract. And that was pretty much it. Another task done. Perfect. I had the CMS kit turned in as well. So all I had to do now is wait for the defibrillator. When it's produced, I could turn it in and that would be yet another quest done. Perfect. We're not doing so bad, right? We're dealing with very shitty quests and we're doing okay. Even though my survival rate is around 1%. But it's fine. You know, it's all good. This game is made that way. You need to die 5 million times before you get things done. So this time we went on shoreline and we had to visit some houses. Okay. This is done. Perfect. Also done. Perfect. Ooh. Quest done. Perfect. So pretty much after killing one or two scavs just to get the survive status, we pretty much extracted immediately, went out and it was time to turn in another quest done but this time it was two quests one was for Jaeger and the other one was for Peacekeeper and now we get a wonderful quest marking the marked rooms wow that's gonna be fun like, the two of them you can do pretty much easily, but the third one in the resort, well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. But instead of marking immediately everything, first thing we did was went into another customs raid, and I had an ideal spawn for the marked room. So I was like, okay, let's go mark the marked room, you know, th this should be easy. I'm nearest spawn to it. Or I'm not. These guys are spicy. I see how this is gonna go. 
This is gonna go very bad. That's how it's gonna go, right? Oh man, gotta try to repeat that again, but you know what? Once you repeat wrong, you're dead. Some more nades. Hmm. Perfect. Man, oh man. There's obviously two guys, but I can't seem to find them or see them while passing from hallway to hallway. And they obviously don't want to push me. It's time to ditch. And after ditching and waiting for a couple of minutes, I decide to hit him with a rat attack. Yeah, this guy is just like not dying. Absolutely not dying. Oh, there was another boy inside here. And he obviously killed someone. Okay. So again, it was time to strategize. How do I approach this? Do I wait him out? Do I go around? I need to repack my mag. Yeah. Okay. We repack the mag. So let's try to flank this guy and go from the front. You know, that's probably the best idea. Just sneak around. Go f to the front. He's not gonna hear us. Oh, what the actual F. Come on, are you serious? There's a window on the floor and it breaks when I'm passing? Oh my god. You know what, just ditch that strategy and go back. Why are you running? Why are you running? Bad idea, dude. Bad idea. Well, it would seem that pretty much everyone was dead now. And this dude was quite spicy. Oh, he was loaded. Okay. Well, still there was a lot more bodies to be checked. And I believe this is the first time I actually ever ended up being a winner in dorms. After having some gunfights. But yeah, these guys that were also inside here and that were dead now... Boy, they were loaded. They were all so, so loaded. They had good ammo, good stuff on them. So, yeah, pretty much a lot of looting to get all the guns that I want. Organizing a lot of inventory to get stuff done. But at the end, we went out with pretty much everything that we could. Everything that I wanted to get out with. I had to ditch my own gun in order to get other guns. But yeah, they were loaded. SVDs, AKs, man, that was fun. And you know what? We went in and we marked the marked room. Perfect. So after doing all that in one raid, it was time to push out for the extract. And we extracted with a lot of success. So finally, we were out. We had one room marked. We had three more or two more places to mark. But that is going to be something to do in next episodes anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope you enjoyed the last fights the last moments of this raids because man that was one of the best dorm fights i ever had i ended up going up out with a lot of loot and i was very happy about it anyways i'll see you in the next episode guys please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button to get notified with the next episode